we all know that germs are our enemy. But we often forget that the simple thing of washing our hands is the number one way of getting rid of germs in our environment and thus helping us become healthier or stay healthy. And this is a great preparedness tip uh, for seasonal flu or when we have other types of epidemics or when we have a pandemic or any type of contagious illness coming around or if you're actually caretaking or have someone in your home that's sick. So let's begin with proper hand washing. First, we wet our hands and wrists, and we use a sufficient amount of soap. I particularly like this foaming soap. You start to lather up that soap in between your palms. You go through your fingers, the back of your hand with your palm. You then go back and rub your fingertips. Don't forget those thumbs. We're going to do our wrists, and we're also going to do around our rings and jewelry. We rinse really well because that takes away that germ-laden soap, and we dry. Drying also gets rid of some leftover germs on the hand. Use your towel, shut your water off, and then to help protect your skin, use a little bit of hand lotion because cracks and open areas on the skin allow germs to get in. Well, that was easy. Just remember, 20 seconds. Wet, lather, rinse, and dry. 20 seconds, that's all it is. And for children, they can do the ABC songs or row, row, row your boat. We always wash our hands after we've been to the bathroom. Whenever there's food, meaning before you put food to your mouth, uh, mealtime, snacks, any type of food. Also, while you're preparing food, specifically when you're handling meat, and then you wash your hands before you go to the next item um, that you'll be preparing, such as vegetables or pasta or whatever it might be. Now we also um, have found with the electronic age that keyboards are a wonderful place for spreading germs. So don't forget, uh, after you've been on a keyboard, wash up. And during the keyboard, while you're working with it, don't touch your eyes or your nose. And specifically, if you're going to eat something, wash your hands. Um, we also have shared equipment, whether it's play equipment, such as baseballs and soccer balls, etc. Uh, and um, remote controls at home particularly when people are sick. Whenever you have to clean up with a pet or you're playing with a pet, whenever you see dirt on your hands, and particularly if you have a sick person in your home. Areas that are often neglected when hand washing are the wrists, around jewelry, the rings, the back of the hands, and then in between the fingers. Happy hand washing.